Oh. Hello, this is going to be a different kind of video. It's going to be commentary about something that happened just recently, like five minutes ago. So, I had to go take a shit, right? And I walked into the bathroom. I was holding it real bad because I forgot I had to go take a shit at first. So, I was holding it. And I walked in the bathroom and I was holding. That bitch was like popping out. I could feel it about to like come out. And I took out some toilet paper and started wiping down the seat, but I couldn't hold it that long. So I squat down while I'm doing this. I squat down over the toilet seat because sometimes my dad pisses on the toilet seat. So I have to wipe it down with toilet paper. So I was squatting over that bitch while I was doing it, doing that like wax on, wax off shit. And as it comes out, I hear like a plop because it didn't go in the water. It hit the fucking inside toilet bowl, like the fucking white part right there. It hit that. And I hear a plop. I, I didn't know how to make it sound, but like, like something like that. It was like, eh. okay, so I'm doing that and it really fucking stinks at that point. Like it smells like sour ass. Like, it smells like somebody just came from Chipotle, Taco Bell, they just fucking ate a mixture, put that bitch in a blender, ate that shit, and it just like shit all over the fucking place. Well, it gets better. I fucking wipe my ass, you know, do all my business. The first step I take, I feel something all mushy, and I look down on the ground, and I miss the fucking toilet. When I was squatting down, a fucking big ass turd hit the floor. And I stepped in. So, naturally, I lift up my foot to see, you know, how much was there, how bad it was. And I could see, because we ate corn yesterday, I could see like a little corn at the bottom of my foot. And it smelled like fucking disgusting. Hey, Santa, it ain't nasty. But, <laughs> it was... It really was nasty, but and it smelled like shit. So I, I wiped everything off. I cleaned everything. Don't don't worry. I'm not a nasty motherfucker. I cleaned everything. I went to my room, and then it still smells like shit. So I wait a few minutes. Be like okay, maybe maybe it will you know go away. And like no, it still smells like shit. So I walk back to the bathroom. I look down at my foot. I step like the turtle was so fucking big that when I stepped on it, I didn't know about this, but it was so fucking big. I stepped on it. And it just like, like it's kind of like the mattress memory foam shit. It just like took the shape of my foot and surrounded my foot in shit and feces. So I had to wipe it down, and then it was all done from there. Anything you want to say, Santel? I couldn't clean the toilet seat because sometimes my dad just. He pisses all over it, and I don't want to sit down on it while I got pissy, fucking pee stains all over the toilet seat. What kind of, I'm not nasty boy. I don't want to get staph infection. Alright, now you want to ask me a question about it, right? How big is a win like this when shots are falling and you've got the energy in this building behind you? Alright, well... No, I muted shit, Mark, because I knew he wouldn't shut the fuck up while I was doing the video. But anyway, <laughs> anyway, so new type of video. Tell me if you guys like it. And I mean, I might do more of them. I ain't gonna be doing more missing the toilet, be honest. But I'm, I might do more of these type of video. And tell you guys about some experiences I've had. So leave a like if you liked it. And welcome back. I'll see you guys later. Say bye, Santo. The jet. Let's quickly move forward now to the presentation right. of our Jordan player of the game, Freak. He had just an outstanding fourth quarter performance. He really had the fire lit under him and down the stretch, really having a huge impact on the outcome of this game. You know, Freak was a 4.0 honor student growing up. And tonight, that high IQ is one of the things we saw on display with that sensational performance. Combine his smarts with the fact that he lives and breathes basketball, there's no doubt that he's one of the most intelligent players we have in this league. They were riding a two-game losing streak coming to this game and could not afford to drop three in a row. He rose to the occasion for them tonight, big time. They needed this sort of performance for him. He took his game up a few notches. Love it, Ernie. And that'll do it for our broadcast tonight. Hope